friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I am super excited to be announcing my next series on my channel and this one is December Daily Directory or December Documented Directory. So I know a few of you, I've mentioned that I'm going to be doing this series and a few of you have said that you're not quite sure what December Daily actually is. Um, so this video here is an introduction to what is December Daily or December Documented or Journal Your Christmas or however you want to call it. It's basically a project that you do for the month of December, traditionally for the month of December, where you document um, your, your December memories. So um, I've done it, I didn't do it last year because I, I, was on, I was on holiday for a couple of weeks in December so I, didn't, I knew I wasn't going to get a chance to do it. But I've done it the two years pri previous to that. And um, you can do it in any sort of album that you want. And that's going to be another video that will be coming up as well. The types of albums that you can use to create a December daily or December documented, um, whichever you want to do. So the whole idea is, as I said, to capture those December memories, get them down, on a, get them down into a scrapbook um, and then be able to look back on them in years to come. So I know I've already had out my previous two December dailies. Um, and look through them and sort of read the journaling and, and seen what I've done in previous years. So this is just to give a brief introduction as to what it is um, and what you can expect from this series going forward. So I'll give you just a quick look at what my December daily looks like from 2016. Now it is almost completed. <laughs> when I pulled it out I realised I've got two days left to finish in it but you can see the album's already quite bulky. Um, I've gone with a 6x8 album on this. Um, this is actually an album um, from Ali Edwards. Now, Ali, Ali Edwards actually designed, um, or she came up with the concept of December Daily. Um, so you could go down the official December Daily route, get yourself a December Daily album from Ali Edwards. Um, there's also kits available as well. And um, if, you, if you don't want to go down that route, you can just use your own stash as well um, and create and complete the project with um, with whatever you have in your stash. So this is the album that I created and this is a whole album worth of December memories from 2016. I do attempt to try it, um, try to do it as I go along. Uh, there are no rules. Um, I know that someone um, left a comment saying that they don't like to do their December daily in December, they like to do it in January. So they'll take the pictures, they'll document um, what's happened on certain days and then in January they'll go back and fill their album in and there's nothing better than getting through a completed album. We'll never be caught up on scrapbooking, um, that's that's never going to be the case but to have an actual completed project like this um, and that something you'll get out year after year after year um, for friends and family to have a look at, um, it's a great little project to complete every year. So that's my December daily 2016, that's what it looks like. So as I said, you can buy the official kits. So these are the kits that you can purchase directly from Ali Edwards um, website. No promotion. Um, I bought this last year with my own money. Um, I never obviously got to use it because um, I wasn't here to do it in the end. Um, but you can buy these kits and they come with everything you could possibly need in terms of some journaling cards because traditionally it is done in a pocket page style um, but as I said future in the series I will show you different ways you can actually complete December daily um, if you don't want to use pocket pages um, but you get um, yeah the pocket page cards in here you'll get um, chipboard there might be some there might be a stamp so there'll be all sorts of things in this box um, that you can use to uh, to complete your December daily album. So that's basically a brief overview of what it is. It's just a way to document your December memories, get yourself a project completed and something that you can pull out year after year after year um, and enjoy. So um, I hope you're going to enjoy this series. Um, there's quite a few videos building up to um, preparation for December daily, what you can do to prepare, what your, what your kit um, should contain what my kit contains which you know is going to be crazy right um, what albums you should use to do December daily and then we're going to have a look at um, starting some foundation pages for me I'm always a lot more successful if I'm able to prep in advance so if I'm prepping the foundation pages and we're talking about um, just some um, really minimal 
decoration of the album, sort of getting the cards ready. Um, and let's face it, you can swap and change things. So although we might be prepping the pages now, um, they're all movable, it's only paper. So we can, um, we can switch and change um, that as and when we need to actually in the month of December. So yes, I hope that you're gonna enjoy this series. If you haven't done December Daily before, um, and you've been really interested in giving it a go, then I hope that you find lots of inspiration from this series. I hope this video has explained a little bit more what the project is and where it came from. Um, if you've done it before and you're doing it again this year, um, then I'd love to see your creations if you take any ideas from what I give you. Uh, don't forget, if you're on Instagram, make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can see what you're up to. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited. I did say to my husband, 1st of November is officially the start of Christmas. Halloween's out of the way, officially the start of Christmas. So sorry about the, the C word and I've got my little Christmas t-shirt on so I'm super excited and um, yeah, can't wait to share this series with you all. So here's to the next video. Bye.